create an aesthetically pleasing color scheme. The designer should strive to create a display which is not only efficient from a human factor's standpoint, but which also provides aesthetic satisfaction. It takes an expert to apply color in creating a very high quality image. But anyone can learn to use color to enhance aesthetic appeal. Besides, a designer often must rely on his or her own judgment because there is simply insufficient time or money to employ a real graphic designer. There are several types of color schemes. Monotone achromatic, neutral colors only, white, black, gray, easy to use but requires expert care to avoid complete boredom. Monotone chromatic. A single chromatic color ranging in brightness and saturation, red, pink, rose, etc. Easy to use but again risks monotony. Analogous hues. Two or three colors close to each other in color space, blue, greens, etc. Easy to use. Complementary hues. Contrasting hues. Blue orange, red green. Requires care since it can appear garish and unbusiness like. Works best when the two differ significantly in brightness and one is relatively desaturated. A dimmer desaturated red and a brighter saturated green. Pleat complementary hues Uses three colors, one base color plus two, near but not directly across. Color space, orange with blue-greens. Works best when colors from opposite sides differ significantly in brightness and colors from one side is or are desaturated. Usually produces a less garish feeling than a simple complementary scheme. Dried hues uses three hues approximately equidistant in color space red, yellow, blue. Desaturate at least two hues. Dried schemes are often embedded in a generally neutral field. So it would work well on a typical windows gray background. Tetrad color it uses four hues at equal intervals in color space yellow, green, orange or red, blue or violet. In general, the designer can achieve harmonious, balanced schemes by choosing colors which are neither too different, saturated red and green, or too similar neighboring shades. Hue, saturation, and brightness differences can all be used to modulate balance. 